Hi everyone, Jordan from Antec here. In the previous episode, we showed you how to terminate LED strips with JST connectors. Today, we're going to show you how you can terminate your LED tape with simple wires. Wire connections are handy for a bunch of different applications. When you terminate your LED tape with wire, you have the ability to then connect to controllers with screw terminal outputs, such as our P-Link injector or our CV driver. Wire connections are particularly useful when you want to join two short sections of LED tape together. Or maybe you need some tight bends in a more permanent installation and you don't want to damage your tape by overflexing it. Whatever your use case, it's a relatively inexpensive and relatively robust way of terminating or joining LED tape. If you're following along, you'll need LED tape, today we'll demonstrate on a section of pixel tape, wiring in various colours, today we're using black, red and green, some soldering equipment, solder, wire cutters or strippers, some tweezers and some reusable adhesive. Just like in the last episode, you want to consider how many connections you need to make on your tape. Depending on the tape, you may have as many as five terminals, maybe even more. We recommend you choose a different color for each connection that you need to make on your tape. When it comes to other wires, like a data connection on pixel tape, you can pick whatever color code works for you. It's probably a good idea to keep whatever color scheme you're using consistent throughout your installation and it's definitely a good idea to write everything down in case you need to troubleshoot later. And now it's time to prep our work. First, we'll use a bit of blue tack to help hold the tape to our work surface. Next, we can measure, cut, strip the wire, and twist the strands together. And as always, we tin the pads of our pixel tape and our wires before we solder everything together. And now it's time to line up our wires and our tape. Make sure to check the data direction of the tape and make sure all pads line up properly. Now it's time to lay our wires out. We have red for VCC, green for data, and black for ground. Once we have that sorted, it's time for the delicate part. I'll use my tweezers to hold the wire against the pad as I apply heat. I'll remove my soldering iron once the wire and pad have melted together. When I do remove my soldering iron, I remove that first and I'll only remove my tweezers once the solder has cooled. And there we have it. We now have two pieces of LED tape bridged together with wires. We could, instead of bridging two sections together, just have bare ends at the start of the tape and we can then connect the tape to a driver with screw terminals. That's it for this video. Comment if you have any questions, like, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. Check out our social media pages and stay tuned because we're going to have more helpful and tech tips coming out in the future.